Hey guys, it's Becky. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My channel is all about my good midlife crisis. I am journeying through my 40s and I am trying to get my poop in a groove. I've been working on my financial, my physical, and my mental health. Primarily, I focused on my financial health and that is what today's video is about. If these seem like something that you would be interested in, I really hope that you will consider subscribing and coming along with me. I would love to have you on my journey. So, for those of you who are not new, welcome back. Thank you for sticking with me through the issues that I have had. And y'all, with all of this that's been going on, I have to share, like, I'm going to call this a win. I'm going to call it a win. Yesterday, I was getting my, like, worksheet ready to put into the Budget Mom workbook so that I could fill my Budget Mom's budget with me this weekend um, using the book, which, if you know, I do... I do my plan for this video and how I'm going to put my money into YNAB and when I get paid, I do that normally a week ahead of time. And I was writing it all out and I went to balance, like to reconcile my checking account and I saw my paycheck pending and I was like, why is my paycheck pending a full week early? That's so weird. Y'all, I get paid. I get paid tomorrow. Um, so my check's already in my account. I had no clue. This is the first time in my entire life that I was completely prepared to go a full another week without a paycheck, but I don't have to. I'm calling that a win. I'm very happy with this. So I am sorry that I did not film a budget with me for my um my budget mom book, but I honestly, I had no idea that I got paid this week. I thought I got paid next week, and I was planning to film this this evening or tomorrow evening because I am out of town this weekend. Um, but I'm not going to. But I am going to film um, a closeout for my first two weeks because I have been really confused about why my budget mom book doesn't add up like my YNAB does and like my accounts do. And I think I may have found a way to make it match maybe what I'm doing wrong. So I am going to do a closeout and see if I can make this balance. So if I close it out every two weeks, maybe I can do that. I'm also going to be doing a cash stuffing cash stuffing video. Um, I am out of town this weekend, so I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to fit all these videos in, but I'm going to do them the best that I can. Let's get back to today's video because guess what? I'm at lunch and I have already used half of my lunch to uh, get everything set up. So let's get into my budget. So I have my paycheck in here but I don't have Seth's money and that is because it's only the night he doesn't only pay me until the 12th or 13th depending on his paydays um so I'm anticipating him paying me probably this weekend um and when he does then I'll fill it in also I have learned I have with the tightness and me just spending money I have learned that I think I need to assign money when I have it and not leave it in a holding category. That holding category is like kryptonite for me. And now I understand why YNAB tells you to give every dollar a job when you get it. Because holding to me is like it's free money. It's not necessarily for next month. Maybe if I labeled it like next paychecks bills, then my brain would think that it was bills. But when I just put it in holding, I'm like, oh, it's extra money. I can spend that. And no, no, I can't because that's how I got myself into trouble. So this check and the next check, I'm going to be playing catch up. Plus, remember my wine membership? I canceled it, y'all. I did not forget to cancel it. I canceled it. But they told me that I hadn't fulfilled my requirements of two distributions. It's a whole thing. It's a whole thing. I did require that according to what I was told when I signed up for it, but not apparently according to what they actually require. So I signed up for the December and March, um, yeah, December and March distributions, and then I was supposed to be able to cancel it. That is what they told me. But now they're telling me that December didn't count as my first distribution. That was just a discount on the wine that I bought that day, even though the discount happened to be the exact same price as the membership. Anyway. I don't have it in writing. I'm not going to fight it. I mean, worst case scenario, I have extra wine. It's not really that bad. It's just an extra hundred dollars that I did not have in my budget that now I have to, I had to go in and make room for, which is going to hurt, but it's okay. It's okay. We're going to get there. So I'm going to stop talking. 
I'm not going to stop talking. I'm going to stop rambling to the best of my ability. Shrink myself and uh, and get started. And move me up here to my tiny little corner. Okay. So here, I'm pointing to my screen. Here is my budget. So what I have decided to do is this overspending here is not really overspending. This is I bought... Um, popcorn or something. I don't remember. I bought something for Nathan uh, last week and this will sit here because the way we do bills is at the end of the month it just comes off of what I owe him for rent. But seeing this negative number here really, really irks my brain. So I'm going to cover this with groceries. So I'm going to cover this overspending with my groceries. And that is my only overspending. Everything else is going to be here. The other thing that I'm going to do before I get started is take what is left in my pet category. Uh, my pet expenses, my $7. What? A whopping $7. And I'm going to move that down to my pet emergency fund. You may or may not remember. Um, but I said that my goal is to build up this pet emergency fund. And part of the way I'm going to be doing that is by moving whatever is left at the end of the month and my pet expenses into my pet emergencies. So I'm moving my $7 to my pet emergencies and then everything up here I'm going to budget out. I think that's all I said I was going to do, right? Everything else is rolling over? Yes. $8.78 went to reimbursable, $7 to pet emergencies. Everything else that's in a category is going to stay in this category for now. So I'm going to start by funding my dining out. Y'all look, I have money left in my dining out. I'm so excited. That doesn't happen to me very often. So, and I'm not even doing like a no dining out challenge. I just, just had money left over. Probably because I thought I had another week to go. Um, but whatever, I'll take it. So now I've fully funded my dining out for the month. And I need to fund another 150. Is this, I think I actually need to fund more. I'm going to put 150 in here. I don't know. I think it still needs a little bit more. Where's my, oh, there it is. It still needs another 26, 21, but I'm going to try really, really hard to stick to this because I only have like $4 worth of wiggle room in this because I'm planning for um, next month's bills. And some of that is Seth's money, which I don't have yet. So I don't want to put anything extra anywhere. Fun money, I need another $10 in there. Y'all, I don't know what gas is like where you are, but here it is $4.50 a gallon. And I think it's supposed to maybe go up. I'm putting $4.50. I think it's maybe supposed to go up um, this weekend. So, And I have to fill up to go to Lampasas this weekend. So I am upping my gas budget to $50 every pay period instead of Instead of $50 a month, I'm doing $50 a pay period, which is very expensive. Hopefully, I won't need that much, but I need to make sure that I can fill my tank. I only did a half a tank this right now, but I just I just want to make sure I'm good. Reimbursable, I've already done, and no judgment isn't getting anything. So those are my throughout the month. And in case I haven't explained this in a while, the way I've categorized my YNAB is... Everybody does it differently, and you've got to find the way that works for you. But I put my throughout the month is what I call this section, and that is those are the monies that I am going to be putting in and taking out like on a regular basis. These are my variable expenses. If you're doing cash envelopes, um, I did I set this all up before I even knew what cash the cash envelope system was. So I called it throughout the month, and I put it at the top of my YNAB because when you're looking for money to cover some other overspending, this is the most likely that's going to be free, um, the most flexible money that I can use. And so I want it at the very top because that will come up first when I am looking for money to cover an overspending in another category, um, like giving. So I'm gonna shrink that down so it's not in my way. Now, this paycheck is coming in on the 10th and it needs to cover me all the way through the 23rd because I don't get paid again until the 24th. So that means I need to fund my OneDrive, which I think I have set up for $7, I mean for 
but it only needs seven dollars and fifty seven cents as my actual bill I normally put a couple of extra dollars in there to cover in case I go over in my OneDrive um, my instant ink sorry but I should not go over this month I still have like three pages left of this month and I have four pages of rollover and I don't think I need to do any more printing so I think I shouldn't have any charges this month. I am grandfathered into the zero dollar um, instant ink plan because I've had it for so long. So I don't have to pay unless I go over the 15 for the month or the 10 for the month or whatever it is. Audible is due and that is now $9.20. I don't know why. So my new computer, which is fantastic y'all and I'm loving it. Um, and I have a tin key, but the tin key is not as big as my previous tin key. And so the enter button on this is where the period, the decimal point was on my last one. So I keep hitting the enter button when I'm trying to hit the decimal button. So I am sorry, please bear with me. That is due on the 23rd. The internet is due on the 23rd. That's 53.87. That is, I get a little bit of a discount on that because my mom's cell phone bill that I also pay um, is set up with the same company. So that is that is why that is so cheap. My consolidation loan is not due out of this check. That's all. That's all that I have to pay out of this check. Why do I feel like I had much more? OneDrive, Chase. Oh, because I have to pay my credit card. Um, and then I also have Seth's car, half of rent, my couch payment for the beginning of the month because I don't want to leave anything in overspending. I'm sorry, in holding for now. So I'm going to hold off on filling those until the end because I don't have Seth's money yet. And I want to make sure I leave enough to, uh, to pay everything else. And then when I get Seth's money, I'll fill what I couldn't fill. Um, all right. Moving on down. Contacts is getting $21, which is, I do $21 every paycheck so that when my contacts come, which is uh, every four weeks, it costs me $42. So every two weeks I put in $21 and then every four weeks they ship me it, and it costs me $42. So it it works out to where this, I just take half of it basically out of every check and I make sure I have it ready to go when they come. Ecclesial expenses is only getting $80. I know that I I want to do $75 a week. It's just not, I'm not there right now. It's super tight right now and I don't know, I don't really know what's going on. I know I have an extra bill. I know I have that extra wine that's coming. I know I'm playing catch up from last month when everything got, I just spent extra money. I just went way over budget without really paying attention to it because the money was all in holding for now. Um, I know I've got all of that catch up. So hopefully, hopefully by like July or August, I will be able to get this back to where I want it to be. But we'll see. Right now it's not. I did finally get the actual balance for my Best Buy card, which I reconciled it this morning. I got the card in the mail yesterday, so I was able to log in and set up my online account. It's $1,525.21, and I do have 12 months to pay that off. So I set that up it to pay it off in 12 months, and I have to pay $127.11 to pay it off by... Um, by the due date so i have it uh i have it already set up on auto pay and my account and for 130 i think is what i'm paying just to make sure everything's covered but that's not due out of this check so what i have to cover out of this check is chase amazon which is the card that is not paid off yet that was in my dad's name when I had originally set up this budget before all of the overspending and um, computer crashing issues, I was going to pay off this card this week, like with this check. I had $300 set into this account um, to pay off this card because if you look, that would be the rest of it. So I already have the 25 27 because that was interest and uh, charge. And then I was going to put $300 in here and that was going to completely pay off this card. And I was so excited for that, but it's just not meant to be. It's not how it's going to happen this time, but that's okay. I mean, I'm still paying significantly extra. Like I think $25 is what is due. So I'm still making a very big dent in it. I only have $200 left. If I can't do anything extra this next month, next month, it'll still be paid off by August, which is fantastic considering how large this balance was when I started. I'm still very happy with that. That's the only credit card I need to fund for right now. 
So now I'm going to go down to household expenses. Um, well, my surprise expenses, these, I do this a lot, I'm sorry. Maybe somebody needs to start a savings challenge where every time Becky does air quotes, you have to save a dollar. Good luck with that, you're going to go broke. Um, anyway, uh, and every time Becky says anyway, because I say that a lot as well. If Becky does anyway, you maybe have to save five dollars throwing these out there as ideas. So household is getting its full 50, I believe. Where is household? I need to find where I, because I moved things around because I have so many on this page. I couldn't fit them where I normally put them. Household is getting $50 and that is just in time. I have Nathan's kids will be here next week. So I have to go buy, uh, go buy some things. Pets is getting $50 for Pet food, health care, I fund out of my HSA that comes automatically out of my check. I don't put anything in there from here. Budgeting is getting $25. Uh, gifts and giving, I am putting, I am going to put $75 in there. That is for gifts and giving and for Tiffany. I normally would put uh, $50 in here and $25 in here because I, I've decided to put $50 a month aside for Tiffany. Um, I've already sent her 25. She is getting a job closer to her home. The problem is she works at Walmart and she lives about an hour away from where she works. And with gas prices the way they are, it's just, it's been unfeasible for somebody making just above minimum wage to pay for gas to drive that far. So she has been able to transfer to a store closer to her home. Um, and she starts, I believe next week with that or the week after. So. Hopefully she'll be able to um, to save a little bit more money and not spend as much in gas going forward. But for right now, I want to have it set aside. But I did allow my nephew, whose um, debit card got compromised, to use one of my cards to pay for a defensive driving course he needed to take. And he will pay me back. It's, this is Tiffany's brother, Joey, the one that's expecting a baby. He will pay me back, I have no doubt. Um, but I just don't want to leave it on in case I need to pay the card off I don't know exactly if it's going to hit in this bill cycle or the next bill cycle and so I want to be able to pay it off and I'm not sure when I'm going to get that money from him so I'm going to put that here so that I can cover that overspending if I need to with that money um that was a really long explanation of why I'm putting 75 dollars in there I don't know if anybody cares but that's why I'm doing it and then stuff I forgot to budget for I always put 20 bucks in here just in cases and you know something happens and it's this is the first place I pull from if um, if I do overspending in another category let me see what else I have in here uh, I already did contacts okay I think I'm done with that section next next that's the wrong arrow Becky okay my self-care is going to be getting $50 y'all I found a new place to get my nails done they did a significantly better job. Look at this. Look at how cute these nails are. I'm not bleeding. And they were cheaper. They were cheaper than the other place. So I'm still spending the same amount of money. I'm just giving a larger tip. So there we go. It worked out. And they, they did a really good job. So I put another $50 in there for that. Clothes, I took $25 out to send money to Tiffany when she needed it. Um, I'm not putting anything back in there yet. Should be able to, Lord willing, put it back in next paycheck. That is my plan right now, but we'll see how everything goes. Car maintenance is getting its $50 because I need to build that back up. Oh, so you'll see I spent money out of this category. <sighs> Y'all, I'm going to take a picture and I'll try to insert the picture. But my car has like two, they call them pillars. I know this because I had to look them up and buy them. It has the, the like on the side of the windshield, and I don't know if this is from when I had my windshield replaced or if this is something that happens in souls, but it like popped off the other day when I was driving. I was on the toll road going 70 miles an hour, 75. I wasn't speeding. That's the speed limit. 75 miles an hour on the toll road, and all of a sudden it got really loud, like super loud wind noise, and Nathan was in the passenger seat, and he went, whoa, and he opened his window, and he held it because it like popped off. And I don't know, I don't know what caused it. He said the clips are broken and I don't know how the clips broke. I don't know if it's because of the car wash. I don't know if it's just something that happens. If it's from when they replaced my windshield, I have no idea. But it cost me $82 to buy a new one of those things. It's supposed to be here tomorrow. So I'm going to hopefully get that installed before I head out of town. But anyway, 
my car maintenance has gotten very depleted and so I really need to start building that up before I have another oil change due. Vacation is getting $50. You know, I am going to have to do something. I'm not sure how. I might have to pull from savings to fund my vacations because I have hotels to pay for and gas to pay for. And with gas the way it is, I'm not sure how I'm going to do that. But that's not until fall time. So I'll worry about that when I get to it. Hopefully the Amazon card will be paid off by then. And that'll be $100 less a month that I'm paying. My passport renewal, I just put $1.77 away every month, and that will get me $150 by the time my passport renewal is due. Holiday giving is technically supposed to get $45.29, but because I am stuffing, like cash stuffing, there you go, there's two more dollars, cash stuffing this, I want an even amount to, um, to be able to put it into my envelopes. So I've lost my place on here. Holiday giving, $46. YNAB gets $9.20. YNAB, in case you were not familiar with it, is the app that I am using right now to cash stuff. This is my digital cash stuffing. Um, it allows you to get your money and allocate it into different categories. And I don't know what it is, but there is something about this app that makes it so, so, so easy to not spend your money. Like, they tell you not to check your bank, to check your budget, and by doing that, you see, it doesn't matter how much money you have in your checking account, which right now I have almost $3,000 in my checking account, but when I'm going to go grocery shopping, I'm not going to look and say, oh, I have $3,000 in my checking account. I'm going to look at my budget, and I'm going to say, oh, I only have $150 to go grocery shopping with this month, I need to like maybe cut out the extras that I was going to buy. And it really does help your mindset. Like I said, I have money left over in my dining out because I thought I had another week to payday and I only had $40 in there yesterday. Um, I did go have dinner. I went up to my bestie's house last night um, and our other friend came and we just hung out last night. Um, and I picked up dinner for everybody. And so um, I did eat out last night, but I thought I only had $40 to last me two weeks. So I wasn't looking at the number in my checking account. I wasn't saying, oh, I am fine. I have $2,000. I was looking at my dining out and going, I only have $40 to last me two weeks. I really need to uh, not eat out. And it's a mindset. And once you get into it, it just, it changes everything and it clicks and you have so much money left over at, in between paychecks. It took me less than two weeks. It took me one paycheck cycle when I started my trial to be like, yes, I need this. I need to sign up for this. I'm going to put a link in the description. This is a referral link. You will, if you want to try this out, you will automatically get 34 days for free. Everybody does. Um, link or no link. Everybody gets 34 days for free. And that is free, like legit free. You don't even put credit card or checking account information in. They can't charge you. If at the end of 34 days, you decide you don't like it, you do nothing and it just stops. If you do decide you want it and you have used my link, you will get an additional 30 days for free when you sign up for it. So you'll get 64 days for free. And if you've used my link, I will get 30 days for free as well. So thank you very much. If anybody has any questions about YNAB, they don't pay me. I'm not an ambassador or anything. I just really, really, really love this app. Leave your questions in the link in the comments below and I will be happy to answer them for you. There's my YNAB spiel. I have to give one every time. I just have to do it. I do really love this app. Um, anyway, it is a paid subscription. So I save $9.20 a month. And then when it's due in October, September, October, I'll have the money available. I think it's in September. I will have the money available to pay for my year subscription without um, without having to figure out how I'm going to pay for it. Wondershare is the video editing software that I am using. It is an annual subscription as well, and it is $2.50 a month. This one's not due until October of next year. It went on sale, and so I, I bought it early. And um, so now I have a full like a, over a year about a year and a half to save up the whole price of it so it's only 250 a month for me for this my sam's club membership is an annual membership sam's club in case you don't have a sam's club by you it's like bj's or costco it's the same big box store like buy everything in bulk and so i buy a lot of things there like my paper products my water bottles normally um 
a lot of meat because meat is uh, cheaper there. Pet food is cheaper there. And um, uh, I forgot what else I was going to say, but it was like, the, oh, gas. That's the one. That's the main thing. So I'm going to go tomorrow and fill up with gas. That is my plan. It is normally between five and 10 cents cheaper than any other gas station around. So this membership pays for itself with just the money I save in gas. Um, my registration and inspection in the county and state where I live, which is in Texas, it's about $75 a year for my registration and about $25 a year for my for my inspection. I think one is like 23 and one is 76 but together it's about a hundred dollars so I save a hundred dollars a year this is also due in October so I put 866 away a month taxes I am putting twenty dollars a month away am I doing taxes I'm not doing taxes out of this check I was just kidding I'm not doing taxes this check that's next check but I am um I do this because I owed money at the end at like tax season this year I owed only thirty five dollars but I'd never owed money before, and I'm not sure if, like, there's so much going on right now with taxes and interest rates, and I started a new job last year, and I don't know. I just want to make sure I'm covered. If I owe any money at the end of the year for taxes, I will have something set aside for it. And if I don't owe any money, well, then fantastic. I have extra money set aside. That's not a bad thing. I can put that toward my consolidation loan because these last last month and this month, I'm not able to make any extra payments on my consolidation loan, which stinks. But I am able to cover all of my savings and all of my bills and all of my fun things, so I cannot complain. I cannot complain. Life is very good for me right now. Okay, those are all of my once a year. And so you'll notice that I have it throughout the month. Then I have a surprise expenses, which are things that just pop up not necessarily once a year, but like from time to time, and you just need to make sure you have money set aside for them, like dog food and things like that. Um, and then I have once a year, which I know the date that this is due, and I want to make sure that by that date, I have this money ready to go. So like my YNAB referral, my renewal, and my Sam's Club, and my registration for my car, these things, I know when they're due, I know how much I need, and so I can set a goal or a target and why not will tell me how much a month I need to save to reach that goal. Then I have my notachi. Um, these are my savings. This is where I am trying very hard to build savings. If you are new to my channel and you haven't had a chance to watch my earliest videos, you may not know that I have set a goal for myself to reach $2,000 by the end of this year in an emergency fund. I will be 42 years old in a month and a day. I will be 42 years old and I don't have any savings. Like this, what you see here, this is all I have. So I really wanna have an emergency fund just in case something happens. In order to do that, I need to save $171.22 a month. But this again is one that I am cash stuffing. So is that 50 cents? Well, now it's a dollar because I did it twice. Anyway. In order to save it, I am going to save $172 just to round up so I have um, I have an even number to put into my I have an even number to put into my envelope. Oh my goodness, y'all, I just watched that number go up. It's almost at a thousand dollars. We're almost halfway there, guys, which makes sense because we're halfway through the year almost. I'm so excited. My 52 week challenge, I do this challenge. This is the one where you save a dollar for the number of the week that it is. So on week one of the year, you save a dollar. And then on week 52 of the year, you save $52. Um, I am doing this backwards and forwards. I don't have the numbers in front of me, so I don't know what week I'm on, what weeks I'm on, because I get paid every two weeks. So I do two weeks at a time. I do the first and the last of the year. So like the first day of the year, the first paycheck of the year, I save the first week and the 52nd week, which is $53. My second paycheck of the year, I save the second week and the 51st week, which is $53. Every single paycheck, I save $53. And then at the end of the year, it's just over $1,000. I can't remember how much it is. I can't remember. Let's, let's math real quick. Hang on. We've got $53 times, where's my times? Times 26 paychecks. It's $1,300, almost $1,400 that I will save. That's, I didn't realize it was that much. Sweet. Anyway, um, so that is, I don't have a set 
thing that I'm going to use that for. I might put it toward my consolidation loan and get that paid off a little faster. I might use that to um, put toward my new car fund because my new car fund is not a priority, but I want to have something in there, especially since my car is literally falling apart in my driveway. I think I need to start building up a new car fund. Like my car runs fine. It just is falling apart, like literally. This 2022 savings challenges, this is where I have been doing the budget mom savings challenges. I will link her um, her challenges below. It is a, a fee-based membership. You do pay $10, but you get access to, it's 12 months worth of savings challenges, and there are three challenges a month. So somebody who's better at math than me, was that 36? 36 challenges for 10 bucks. And you can modify them and do how you want. You also get access to her Facebook page, not her Facebook page, but the Budget Mom Savings Group Facebook page. And everybody's super supportive, and you can encourage each other and post your things, and then she and her friend Ryan go live every month and go over it and they'll randomly be on there from time to time talking to people so anyway um i have been doing this but this i had to pull from this for the last couple of months and then last month in may i was not able to save anything but i am going to be doing what i should have saved in may which actually ends up to be just exactly 100 dollars. so i'm going to add 100 dollars here and hopefully I can leave that there and not touch it. And that is what I am going to be using this money for. This, um, whatever's in here is free game for me to use for my birthday, for my dinner, for my pedicure, for my nails, for my massage, for whatever I decide to do. I'm going to use this money to pay for that. And then after July, because my birthday's in July, after July, um, I'll start saving it and maybe I'll use that for treating myself for the end of the year or next year or maybe I'll use it for holiday gifts or something I'm not sure I don't have a set goal for this or a set target for this which is why I felt comfortable pulling from it to cover what I needed to cover um, there's no there's no um, designation for this money it's just money that I am challenging myself to save and the fact that I have been able to save over two thousand dollars this year so far is incredible like that's incredible. I know there are a couple of my friends who watch this who know what I was like before I started doing this. And um, and there are a couple of you out there that who are like me, who have never been able to save money. And this is so amazing for me that I have saved over $2,000 this year so far. Um, and that's just in the savings section. That's not including the money that I have technically saved for upcoming expenses as well. This is just designated savings. Um, and again, my pet emergencies, that, is that getting anything this month? Is that next time? No, it is. It's getting $50. So that is getting $50. And I believe, the, and this is for things like unexpected vet bills and their vaccinations and things like that. Um, my pet expenses are going to be planned expenses like their food, their treats, their toys. If I need to replace the leash, which I think I do have to replace both of my pup's leashes, um, they're starting to unravel, things like that. But their vet bills and things like that, I'm going to pull out of my pet emergency fund. That is why I, at the end of the month, anything left over my pet, fun, my pet um, expenses goes to my pet emergencies just to build that up. New car, again, this category gets skipped a lot. Poor guy, <laughs> may never get a new car. And the month ahead, this is a daydream. I am not at a place where I can put a month ahead yet, but it's there to remind me that one day I would very, very, very much like to be a month ahead. So we still have $337.62. Again, I am waiting on Seth's money, so I'm not exactly sure how much I can fund of what I wanted to fund, but let's go ahead and, uh, oh, I shrunk it. I was like, why can't I see it? Let's put, no, it isn't here. Let's put what I can. So I'm going to do $250 toward my rent and 50 toward my couch. So if you're, again, if you're new, um, I live with my friend, Nathan. He is, he has a home, it's a four bedroom home. So he 
has the master, obviously, because it's his house. And then he has two children who live with us part time. Uh, they will be they're here every summer and then at Christmas time. And so they will be here next week, Lord willing. That is so exciting. But so they each have their own rooms. And then I have the fourth room in the house. And so I pay him $400 a month in rent. And then we split all the bills. So I pay some of the bills. He pays some of the bills. It ends up normally to where I owe him around $500 at the end of the month. And so that is what I budget. Sometimes it's a little bit less. Sometimes it's a little bit more. But it's normally right around $500. So that's what I budget. I do have a couch that he financed because he bought some new furniture for his children a couple of months ago. Um, so this is, I pay him this as well. I just pay him $50 a month. It's no interest. And I need to check and see how much I owe him on this. I think it's getting down to like under $300 now, maybe with this payment. Um, but I will check and update that because I'll do a debt, a debt update at the end of June for the second quarter and see where I am, which it's going to have gone up because of the computer, but that's okay. Anyway, that leaves me $37.62. I am going to put that towards Seth's car. And then when he pays me, oh, again, the, the decimal point, the enter button is where the decimal point should be. When he pays me the 420, I'll fill up the rest of the car and then um, put the $100 toward the Safari Winery. That Safari Winery is already on my card, so I do need to pay that, but I can pull that from groceries to cover. Anyway, that's all I've got for right now. I do have to get back to work, but if you enjoyed this, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I really, really appreciate everyone being here, watching my videos, watching through the end, and uh, commenting and subscribing. Please subscribe if you haven't, if this seems like something that you would be interested in. If you prefer paper budgeting, um, I do have a playlist that I will link below of all of my budget moms. This paper budgeting, because I do do it both ways. Um, and then I also have some cash stuffing videos as well, and I'm going to be filming another one of those. I also have weight loss journey that I am working on, and I have only one so far, but I also have a mental health journey that I am working on. So if any of these seem like something that you would be interested in, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. That way you can uh, know when I post a new video. Anyway, I really have to go. I'm going to stop rambling. I hope you're having a fantastic day wherever you are, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.